Hello and welcome to the Ed Sack School Charlie Parker series. Whatever instrument you play, this series is for you if you want to learn the language of Charlie Parker, the father of jazz and bebop. Today we're going to look at a phrase taken from Charlie Parker's solo on confirmation. Have a listen to this. Now, did you hear this phrase? Have a listen again and see if you can spot them. Now we're going to turn to the handout. Now if you want a copy of the handout and the backing track that I use to demonstrate the phrase, please log on to edsackschool.com and you can download both things there, which will be really useful when you come to practice the material in this lesson. Let's turn to the handout now. Right, so here we go, I've written out the phrase uh, and I've written it out um, once again in C major, so it's a 251 into C. Obviously when I just demonstrated it, it was in a completely different key because I just um, played it in the same key that Charlie Parker played it in, in confirmation. Um, so on the D minor seven, you're actually starting on the sixth degree of the scale, the B there. Um, so you actually start on the sixth, you could also call that the 13th. Uh, another way of describing it. So you start on the sixth and it's really the reason I haven't labeled it with a little pink number is because the focus is the actual third note which is the seventh and I like to think of those two semiquavers as a little enclosure around the seventh. So what you do is you imagine the seventh of the two which is the C and you start just a semitone below it then you go to a tone above it the D and then you descend. Um, so I think of it, about it like that. Rather than uh, imagining starting on the 6th or the 13th, I imagine that you're starting on the 7th and doing a little enclosure around it. And then when you uh, hit the G7, you're actually landing on the 5th uh, and then descending to the 9th, then back up to the 4th, then descending to the 9th, and then finally resting on the 3. That movement there um, de, do, de, do, do, is a classic and you'll hear that in many Charlie Parker solos uh, and I've definitely picked that up in my playing and love using that phrase uh, and there's lots of variations of it as well which we'll um, look at. Moves up to the 13th there and then back down to the 3 and then when you land on the C major you actually uh, land on the 5th and do a little semi-quaver triplet ornamentation uh, as, you, uh, as it takes you down the scale through the 7th, the 5th and then landing on a lovely note, which is the sixth. Um, now we always describe that note as a sixth when we're talking about a one chord, because obviously, either, as I said a minute ago, you can call the sixth the thirteenth. But when we're talking about a one chord, this is something we look at on the jazz harmony course. When you're talking about a one chord, it's always described as the sixth. And when you're looking at a two or a five chord, you usually refer to it as the thirteenth. Um, so a little bit of uh, a little bit of knowledge for you there on chord symbols and, and the sort of uh, the way we describe certain sounds. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you now uh, and I'm going to do it in the key of C major. Obviously I, I always like to draw people's attention to the fact that I'm actually playing in a different key on the saxophone so I'm actually doing a 2-5-1 in my mind. I'm playing a 2-5-1 into A because that's what it is on an alto saxophone. But at concert pitch, this is a 2-5-1 into the key of C, followed by a 2-5-1 into the key of F. So G minor 7, C7, F major 7. And the reason I chose those two was because they're the first two notes around the cycle of fifths starting on a C. So here you go, have a listen to this. So it's a really great phrase and if you want this to become part of your vocabulary as well, you've got to practice this in all 12 keys. 
Uh, and the way I'd suggest that you do it is by going around the circle or the cycle of fifths, starting on a C. Now, if that's not a familiar concept to you, uh, don't worry, because uh, when you go to edsackschool.com to download the handout with the notes on it and the backing track uh, that you can play those notes with, uh, you can download a handout as well which describes the circle of fifths and how you can use it to practice this stuff. Um, and you'll notice when you download the handout that I've only written the notes out for one of the phrases, and that's the one we've been doing today. Uh, and the reason for that is because to really get the most out of this, you need to be working the notes out for the remaining 11 keys using your ears and using your brain, because I want you to be hearing the changes and the intervals yourself, uh, rather than reading the notes on the page, because you'll get, um, it, you'll get so much more out of it if you do it that way. Uh, and it will take ages at first. The first time I learned a phrase from uh, Charlie Parker in 12 keys, it took me about two days to do it. Um, and so, but then when I did the next one, it took me about one day. So the time got less and less uh, the more I did it. So don't worry about that. Now, if you've got any questions at all about the practice, uh, or if you want to suggest lesson ideas, or you want to suggest another artist that I have a look at in some of these lessons, or if you want to chat to some of the other uh, members of Ed Sack School and some of the people that are taking uh, this series, then just come to Facebook. Uh, you'll see a link here, facebook.com forward slash Ed Sack School. Uh, like the page and you can take part in the discussion there. So it'd be great to see you there as well. So I hope you enjoy making this phrase part of your harmonic vocabulary. Now you might be asking, why are we doing this course? Uh, what's the point of this series? Now what we're trying to do is we're trying to improve the harmonic capabilities of your brain. And your brain is the instrument for this series. So it doesn't matter what instrument you actually play, it certainly doesn't have to be the saxophone. We're trying to improve the way your ears hear things and what your brain can produce harmonically. And we look at jazz musicians that have come before us, like Charlie Parker, the legend that he is, uh, to really get their vocabulary and make it part of ours. Uh, and so the purpose of this is in the same way as if you're reading a book and you take in vocabulary and constructions and then you can reproduce more elegant prose when you write. Uh, in the same way, when we hear solos of other people, we take in their ideas, their vocabulary, we hear the intervals that they use in their solos, and we can then produce richer and more harmonically interesting solos. So that's the point of this course. Uh, and something Charlie Parker said was, um, he said that you had to learn your instrument, then practice, 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 and when you get up on the bandstand, you have to forget everything. He also said you've got to learn the changes and then forget them. Now, he didn't mean you've literally got to forget everything you've ever learned. That would be stupid. Um, and Charlie Parker certainly wouldn't be telling you to do that. But what he meant was you've got to practice your instruments and learn this harmony so that it becomes such an ingrained part of your harmonic vocabulary that you don't even know you're referencing what you've once learned. So you don't have to forget. You just have to almost not know that you're using things that you've learned. I think that's what he meant. Uh, but one of the most beautiful things he ever said is that when he got to the point in his life where he could reproduce what he heard inside him, uh, that's when he felt he was born. And that's what we're doing together on this course. That's our mission. It's to produce uh, solos uh, which come straight from your head, unencumbered, and you can then reproduce them on whatever instrument you choose to play. Um, so that's what we're trying to do on this course. So I hope you have fun. Enjoy making this part of your vocabulary as well. Make Charlie Parker proud. Come to edsackschool.com and download the handout, uh, the Cycle of Fifths document, and the backing track, of course. And log on to Facebook where you can uh, chat to the other guys who are taking this course as well and ask me any questions you've got. So until then, I'm Ed Barker from Ed Sack School and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.